Hey everybody, Josh, KI6NAZ here. I know I told you the best thing you can do for an HT is to upgrade the antenna. And I still feel like that is uh, one of the best things you can do. I realized though that there was a nuance that I didn't really explain in that process. And there's actually something else you need to do before you even get a new antenna. And we're gonna talk about it today on the Ham Radio Crash Course. Thanks for watching. If you're new here and you like the content, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. I appreciate it. Thanks. Now the most common connector you will find on a ham radio HT is an SMA connector, which is a sub miniature version A, that's the acronym. And they're gonna come in two formats. They're either gonna have a pin that's visible in the center or a small socket in the center. That denotes what sex it is. So if you're looking for an antenna to match that, you need to get an antenna that has the appropriate hole or pin for the radio. However, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about these BNC adapters. These BNC adapters, they make one for whichever radio you have, male or female, and they screw into the top of your radio. And with that connected, you can then just take any BNC connection, like this signal stuff signal stick, this glow in the dark model, and connect it right on top. And now you've replaced your ham radio antenna for your handy talkie. This is a nice way to go because you can just quickly use the bayonet connector to disconnect the antenna and you can connect to a car or in the case of my home, I have a large vertical antenna on the roof and I can connect into that quickly and easily. The advantage of doing this also saves most likely the threads of the SMA of the handy talkie. SMAs have a limited connection lifespan in which they start enduring or incurring loss into your radio and or actually get physically damaged to the point that they have to be replaced. Oftentimes the cost of replacing an SMA is half the price, sometimes more than the cost of the radio you actually own, depending on how much it costs. Also, it can be a fairly tedious process if you wanted to go and do it yourself. I'll post a couple of links in the description to SMA connectors to BNC adapters that I use on my radios. They are a very handy way to be able to switch in and out very easily. It makes having a couple of antennas perfectly fine for as many HTs as you own. You just get the BNC adapter connector antenna and you're good. I'll also post a link to the Signal Stuff Signal Stick antennas, which are the antennas I recommend using on your ham radio handhelds. I also use this green one on my IC705, and it's worked out great for me. So this was just a quick video. Consider upgrading your ham radio with a BNC to SMA adapter. It'll make your life easier and prolong the life of the SMA connector on your radio. Generally, BNC is a better connector to begin with than SMA for some reasons that go a little bit beyond a short video here. But rest assured, this will work perfectly fine for your HTs. These adapters are designed to work with HTs based off of their diameter, or in the case of this one, which is my favorite, this one by Diamond, it actually has a rubber grommet on the bottom to help you get a very tight seal on the HT. So that's a very handy thing. Anyway, I'm Josh, KI6NAZ. Again, thanks so much for watching. If you like this, give me the thumbs up and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I live stream every Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we're doing Ham Nation now every two weeks, Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific and 8 p.m. Central Time. <laughs> Sometimes I got to remember my time conversions. It was great talking to you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.